Hi Libra, welcome to Barefoot Mama Intuitive Reading. This is your reading for the week ahead, and whenever you find this, there is something here for you. Um, hopefully. This is uh -da -da. if you want to enter to win a free reading, go ahead and put free reading in the comments. I'll announce the winner on 525. You can book a personal with me on my Etsy donate to my cash app that's what i was trying to say and then you can join my patreon if you'd like there's a week free and you can just cancel anytime so if you just want a couple of extra readings on spirituality go ahead and go over there anyways thank you for being here let's go spirit please protect this reading Send any negative energy back to sender. Transmute it tenfold for the greatest good of all and harm to none. Archangel Michael, please bring clear, concise messages through for my Libra collective. Mother Mary, please bring compassion to these messages. Amen, amen. So mote it be. Two of Swords reverse at the center of your energy. I was hearing just at the beginning of this reading, drop the ball. Interesting. You might feel like you've dropped the ball with something or somebody around you has. Huh. I'm being drawn to put this little heart on top of this Two of Swords reverse. Um, the Two of Swords is somebody who's got their heart closed off. Especially in terms of, I always see this person as like a ninja in training. They're learning their intuition. They're learning self-mastery. They're learning like how to listen with other senses because they have this blindfold on, right? These swords are really heavy too. And you have the Knight of Cups at the bottom. I'm going to take that. Okay, so Knight of Cups with his heart crossing you. You might have an offer, a love offer for some for someone, or you got one from somebody. And you're in this space of being decisively, like, closed off, I think. What are you working with? King of Pentacles. You're focused on your security. Um, you're... <laughs> You've got your eyes closed. This is your energy right now. I know this isn't your card, but this is what you're working with. Um, if this isn't you, this is an earth sign in your energy or somebody who is just very secure in your energy. Um, I think this is you, though. You're very secure and you're not even like looking in the direction of like a Knight of Cups deal right now. <laughs> you're like, I'm good. I've got my pentacles. I've got my house. I've got my like grapevines i'm solid you're like not even looking for anything else that's great what's in the past the magician you manifested this okay what's in your crowning energy the knight of pentacles reversed going forward the four of swords the lovers reversed in your external internal this is where you're at the hierophant reverse oh okay this is interesting um your hopes your fears wow your advice And your outcome. Okay, I'm going to tell you this reading. The Ace of Swords reverse. The Fool reverse. The Seven of Wands. Okay, where you're at right now, Libra, this is super clear to me. Um, and, you know, take it as it resonates for you. My right ear is ringing. The Magician with this combination in your current energy tells me that you're, you manifested a love offer or like a, a business offer of some kind. And it's here, but you're closed off to it because you're secure. You're stoked on where you're at. 
you're comfortable and you have this boot on, right? You're also like super well defended and protected. You could be overly so. You're not willing to plant seeds for anything new right now. Um, Knight of Pentacles. This is interesting too because these this knight and this king are of the same suit. So it's like even people coming towards you who are in your same energy or in your same like realm, your field, even the guy who's supposed to be planting your freaking seeds for the fall, you're like not open to receiving company right now. You're like, no, 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 I'm good. Nope. You're very much in this like prayer, this meditation, this I'm almost hearing like recluse or reclaim, like you're you're reclaiming some part of yourself. Um hmm. okay. So in your external energies you have the love verse reverse. I don't know why this is making me laugh, except that internally you have the higher fate reversed, which means like, yeah, you had this love offer, you rebuffed it. Or vice versa, right? You gave somebody love and they rebuffed it. Because internally, you're not wanting to commit. You're not in a place where you're ready to. Your, your hopes for this situation is that this cycle will end. That you will not experience this. Your fears are is that like you won't find this Two of Cups connection. Or you won't find some sense of like wholeness or completeness within yourself because you got all this, right? So if you're here, but you're wanting to manifest a connection, the heart, the heart, a heart connection. I don't know what kind of heart connection this is. I've never been drawn to like take a stone and put it on top of a card like that. And this is a really new one. So it's definitely speaking. Labradorite is an interesting stone. You should look into the properties of it but you want some sort of like ending for this emotional mental game that you're playing with yourself but I feel like or that somebody else is playing with you I have this feeling that because you manifested this though that there's some form of self-sabotage here because you want you want peace of mind and I feel like the idea of of commitment in terms of like this could be religion as well like or spirituality like there could be something in your spirituality where you you need to constantly question it because you have the four of swords which is the prayer card here you're constantly like contemplating new beliefs belief systems um and so this sort of does not leave you open to the more traditional contractual agreements of the hierophant so you feel that with the two of cups reversed you'll never reach a sense of like fulfillment in terms of an emotional connection with another person that's not where fulfillment comes from you may have just discovered this as well like like you you don't feel that sort of emotional fulfillment from two of cups connections that you were thinking you were going to i just the sprinkler just tried to come out of the ground outside and it was really loud and then it like didn't that was really weird that was a crazy sound um maybe a message for somebody but your advice is the ten of swords reverse and the ten of swords reverse i read as transmuting the things that have happened to you in the, into the past. Like this is your, this is your blockages into stepping stones card when it's reversed this way. It's like whatever has been standing in your way, you, you suddenly find that like seeing that for what it is, if this is you not wanting a commitment, that's, it's freeing you to, to realize that or admit that it's also freeing anybody that you've been dealing with. Right. If that's something that you don't want and then you keep attracting potentials like this knight of cups um it's like you sort of prioritize your peace and i'm getting the sense that anything that doesn't bring you that sense of peace is just like not worth it which congratulations right because that's 
not easy. I'm not saying a two of cups connection isn't possible for you at all by any means. Um, I'm just saying that wherever you're at right now, while you are manifesting this, this is, why did you manifest this? That's what I want to know. Five of wands reverse, six of cups. Oh, because there's some sort of preconceived notion. Also, you could have grown up in a, um, a household where there was some sort of underlying tension. The Five of Wands is like passive aggressive energy. Like you could have grown up with some sort of unspoken silent tension in your house that like sort of assimilated you to that, that space as your comfort. And then you got to a place in like your adult life where you establish a different kind of comfort for yourself. But like when it, when you go to engage in like love connections, that feeling comes back. And so there's something about like that, that whole idea of household, how like house and household. Oh my gosh. Hearth and home and family, like that 10 of cups that, or the 10, of, yeah, 10 of pentacles. That's like, it brings that back. It's like in your DNA, your somatic archaeology. Huh. So what do you do about this advice, right? Use these stepping stones into blo building blocks. Um, call the dead. Call the dead. Okay. So this card is about like clearing out the dead stuff to allow the life from that's like going to try to keep all of these already like old leaves alive right it cut those off call call the dead you have the death card here call the dead what's dead the two of cups reversed the devil whoa you're having victory over your devil which is sabotaging two of cups connections two of cups connections don't have to be romantic either they are um anything that bring us into union with ourselves union with ourselves so if you have some sort of devil energy like obsession addiction um self-sabotage this is you conquering that with victory here the six of wands but specifically, the Two of Cups um, can talk about the union of the divine masculine and feminine within us. So if you have addictions, for instance, and you're not listening to your intuition, um, like this Two of Swords is training her intuition, right, as well as other senses, then you're circumnavigating this. You're, you're, you're figuring it out. Um, If you sabotage potential um, committed connections, this is you kind of understanding why. What's the Hierophant reverse? The Hangman. Yeah, you feel stuck. The Sun reverse. You feel stuck because there's a part of you that feels like this is going to make you really happy. Like the ability to do that. The ability to like commit, to have like a one, like the one. Huh. The sun reversed is the greatest good of all. You also feel like you have some sort of obligation to that. Again, because of either preconceived notions or like this. The scaffolding of our psyche that is created in pre-linguistic like. Years or pre-linguistic months, right? Like just the. The initial sense of safety that's created in our bodies like when we're very very young and we don't know what's going on and it's just it just rests there the body keeps score right um you feel some sense of obligation and it it's totally subconscious i'm hearing it's totally subconscious like it's just this sense of unease that you may or may not always be totally aware of it could manifest as disease as well like if you get into a connection with somebody and it stresses you out and you feel, you might have a sense of feeling like cursed in your relationships with people. And I think that that is 
it's this trying to surface huh the hermit introspection the four of pentacles stability the two of wands you have the world in your hands but you're not reaching for it the star have optimism the nine of swords reverse have optimism the nightmare is ending the nine of swords reverse is interesting because to me it's standing out in this little spread here as like the key to you having some optimism here your security this is interesting too because you're in this king of pentacles energy but you feel like you're in this four of pentacles energy there's something in you that feels diminished somehow um, you might be seeing 222 as confirmation of this message or as um, an angelic number. And it's it's the diminishment is emotional because the twos, it's also mental. There's something about the way that you perceive situations in your mind regarding these connections or being able to receive potentially that diminishes your... your sense of your own value four and four like you just want to be stable <sighs> but i think you might be at the ace of swords reverse the full reverse kind of lying to yourself a little bit not on purpose again like you just i don't think you see how great you are like i don't think you see how good you are the ace of cups yeah to confirm that message on top of the ace of swords reverse yeah you don't see how good you are you're finding emotional peace within yourself you may very well be having some sort of spiritual awakening the four of swords the hermit and the ace of cups this is like the dove of peace with like the wafer the body of christ right um you're understanding some sort of Sorry, I keep hitting the mic. Some sort of spiritual lesson about how your cup flows floweth over. What makes your cup floweth over? Calling the dead. Calling the dead. Calling what's dead. The page of swords learning more, seeing more, understanding more. What's the full reverse? Justice. This is you. You might have been dealing with an Aquarius. Or hoping for an Aquarius. Maybe they didn't see your value. There could be an Aquarius in this equation somehow. Or Virgo. Virgo in the past. Maybe your mom, mother figure or father figure is a Virgo. And they've sort of, this is the scaffolding you're dealing with, right? The mental scaffolding that creates like your sort of internal dialogue about whether or not to have hope about a situation. I think you fear potentially having hope about a situation being long lasting with a four of pentacles to a wand here so you just don't even bother like you don't even bother with it <laughs> you're like no i'm good and that's okay i'm not laughing at you i just the energy of it is just like like maybe you do laugh it off you know maybe you're just like oh that was silly um but deeply It's the seven of wands, the three of wands. You wish for this to be over, um, this cycle, right? This cycle of feeling like you need to hold your energy, like you need to maintain this victory, like you need to have your guard up. Like you're trying to fend people off. This feeling of having your ships coming in and then just like wondering if they're ever going to freaking dock. Um, what's the justice card? Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, 
So this is this is not for everybody, right? This is not everybody's reading, but this is you realizing the thoughts that keep you bound to your sense of like your sense of worth. And this is you overcoming those thoughts by realizing in in some sense how materialism hasn't served as a bomb for this missing piece right because you have it you've got you've got what's going on there you've got it going on there um this is spirit handing you some sort of new emotional experience that i'm with these wands here i'm seeing it, it might trigger you and it also might light your fire And it's because you deserve a new beginning. And I don't know that you see yet how good that will be for you. The divine is coming in to hand that to you. The emperor. Could be with a fire sign. Could be with an Aries. This could also be you bossing out from this king of pentacles to the emperor. Like this is your divine justice. Eight of Wands reverse, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, things are coming to balance. No more waiting. You're done waiting. <laughs> Five of Cups reverse. Your Two of Cups is literally like there once you sort of um, use this Ten of Swords, right, to, to create those stepping stones. I want to know, like, you have the Page of Swords here. You might need to learn more um, either about communication how you communicate with yourself, how spirit communicates with you, or how your mind influences your emotions, um, and how, like, like just the process, like, maybe cognitive behavioral therapy. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a doctor. I can't recommend that to you. Just something that um, came up for this card. Um, or meditation. What else? The moon reverse. Subconscious stuff coming up. Eight of Cups, walking away. Ten of Cups. Five of Swords. Okay, this is walking away from the subconscious patterns that sabotage your Ten of Cups. And you're finding out more about how that is particularly true for you in your case. Because Spirit is bringing you this Ace of Cups, a new awakening. Move in silence. Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles reverse. Okay, so this is that missing piece, and it's not material. It's in the material world. It could very well be you. Yeah, like you realizing, like, wow, um, I can't believe I like diminish myself to the worth of like the things around me or the people around me or my job or whatever. What what you have, what your value is, can't be spoken. Seven of Swords, right? What fills you up? You feel like you have all these options. The four of wands, strength reversed. You are moving through the doorway into like this celebration. I'm hearing like your ancestors are celebrating the doorway that you're currently moving through, the gateway that you're currently moving through, because it's taking major vulnerability. And especially if you came from like a passive aggressive, like sort of upbringing, right? Where people didn't really say what was on their mind or whatever. It could, could really like be vulnerable for you to, to speak your truth or to, to be heard. Be heard. Page of Swords. The Empress. Yeah. Wow. Opening your heart. You go from the Two of Swords reverse to the Empress and the Emperor some sort of divine marriage this is the two of cups upright the alchemical marriage right this is union within yourself that manifests if you want union with another manifest that but it, this comes first from recognizing your own worth outside of 
anything that's outside of you. <laughs> Your own worth outside of anything that's outside of you. Cool. All right, Libra. Um, I'm going to pull one Universal Truths card for this reading. I really liked it. Um, I hope it resonated for you. I really like this reading for you. If it did, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Patience. Ooh, between the bombardment. I hate this card. <laughs> I love this card, but when the universe tells me to be patient, the, the little inner child in me is like, no. <laughs> Between the bombardment of all the stimuli and choices coming our way. That's the seven of cups, right? Patience is vital to our soul's serenity. It cradles the quietude of our mastery. To know how to be patient is the great secret of success. That's also this two of swords reverse. This person's waiting, right? But if this card's reversed, they're not. Being patient is letting things unfold as they should. Higher intelligence can only reach us when we are patient and still. Patience reforms the emotions and refines the mind. Better to be patient than to be at risk. In truth, impatience almost always undermines our well-being. Through our patience, we develop a compliant composure and uncomplaining steadiness. Many times, patience accomplishes more than passion. It is not passive. On the contrary, it is an active, concentrated strength. You have strength reverse here. Patience is the greatest gift of patience. You know what I'm getting? Is that you might be too patient. Like you might wait too long. You might wait too long. This is, right, activation of your fire we talked about. You might need to like... You have security, you have uh, like this huge um, focus on security in this reading and how that is sort of fundamentally where you're coming from. You might actually need to like take a risk sometimes or like let your passion drive you a little bit more sometimes. I don't mean go do something wild, but like it might seem a little wild. Yeah, like it might. Um... Yeah, maybe just this once. Interesting. Let your passion sort of fuel at least your optimism, right? Your hope in a situation. Okay, Libra, that's what I've got for you. If it resonated, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.